Good morning and happy holidays. Can you guys believe that Christmas is just right around the corner? Between Ellie's family, Bonnie's family, and my family, literally everyone has been sick and we have been waiting for next week to get together. And guess what? I am the last person to come down with a head cold. So I apologize for the remainder of this video. My voice is going to sound like this. Hi, did you want your sippy cup of milk? If you remember a while ago, Bonnie, took my kids for an evening, and it was our turn to take the Halloween kids. Emma, are you excited? Yeah. Do you want to come do your nails with me? I think there's enough no. of these nails. You don't want your nails done? How festive. Look, you literally just like peel and stick. So simple and easy. Okay, that was probably the fastest I have ever done my nails before. These are super fun. It's just like impress, kiss, impress or something. And we can get two sets out of it. Are you finding enough for you? Yep. You wanted it done. You didn't want to feel left out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that side. Oh my, my, my. You can scratch my back tonight, Kay. The sun decided to come out today. It's still freezing cold. Don't let that fool you. It is definitely not warm. But there is lots of snow, which means we have a lot of wet snow gear around. And so I created this the other day with the kids' two blocks, which the, they love to play with these, by the way. And it's our drawing station. And I thought that that was genius of me to come up with a drawing station with what we had. So there's that for you. Thank you so much for making my bed. Why did you make my bed? One thing on the nice list I wanted to do. On the nice list? That was so kind of you. You can help me. This is what we need to do. When we go places, I like to pack everyone's hats and gloves in a bag so they don't get lost between the house, the car, the parking lots. That way when we get to wherever we're going, it's like, okay, I know for sure everyone's going to be warm and have their hat and glove. Like Millie's little neck warmer. Do you have a hat, Emma? Where did Lucy go first? Okay, am I the only one like this? I feel like I'm an organized person, but when it comes to winter gear, we are not organized whatsoever. I feel like our stuff is everywhere, all over the place, and I told Landon, so I'm gonna say this one more time, and then I will drop it. I really just want a mudroom. He says, one day, you'll have a house with a mudroom. Five star restaurant. <laughs> five star restaurant. Can I wait to show you guys this five star restaurant? You're gonna be so jealous. We got here a few minutes early, so I thought I'd pull the camera out and talk while they're just like watching a show in the car. But I like to play the game where you have to be somewhere at a certain time, so you play the backwards game. So it's like, okay, it takes so long to drive to that point. But Landon had to take the train to go get the other kids and then come back and then get in his car and drive up this way. And so we're like mapping out all of the different times that we have to like leave the house and stuff. And he's like, oh yeah, no, you should leave it this time. I'm like, no, I'm giving myself a half hour. Have you seen the roads in Utah on a weekend during the holidays they are bananas we were only here like five or ten minutes early which i would say is pretty good always watching you always watching you wasowski always watching you is that not creepy <laughs> i love to watch him he's my favorite yeah. hurry up and get here we're hungry Hey, you guys hungry? Yeah! I'm starving, let's eat. Oh, hi little one, come here. <laughs> Wendy's it is, guys. Hi, baby. Everyone always congregates to the baby of the family. Guess what, look at it. do that. What is that? It's the sound of jello. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Do you Oops, see that? Our car. Look at those Santa's reindeers! Oh All right, nine God. kids and two adults. Can we do it? Of course we can. <laughs> you get a hand warmer! You get a hand warmer! Oh, what love it is two red and a one for silver. Smile! We are at, this is the place, Heritage Park in Utah. If you ever come to Utah and you want to visit or learn more about our state, I think this would be a really great place to come visit. 
You have a beautiful view of the mountain and a beautiful view of the entire Salt Lake Valley. All right, let's take a step back in history and learn about Christmas. And if that isn't the cutest little quaint street I ever did see, it's a cute little bedroom. This is a hotel. Oh, it's a hotel? Yeah, this is a hotel. Oh, I wasn't listening. It's a hotel, guys. This is a little mini old hotel. It was Scandinavian tradition. For the seven days leading up to Christmas, you would bake a new cookie every single night. So because the Pony Express couldn't get to the North Pole, they would write letters to Father Christmas and then they would put them in the fire and the ashes would get up to the North Pole. Can I have a new shoe? I'm giving out gold. Thank you, Mr. Scrooge. Porter, you've been nice. Right. Olivia, you're writing your name on the naughty list. I'm naughty. She wrote some I'm naughty too. I'm naughty too. <laughs> subscribe to, subscribe Bonnie. to Bonnie. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We've got lots of help in the kitchen today. Cody washed up our berries. Olivia and Emma are dishing up our yogurt. Dad is making pancakes over there. And I saw these at the store and thought that they would be a lot of fun. Hot chocolate bombs. Should we give them a try? Those are so pretty. We should try it out. Oh, I'm scared it's gonna work. Is it gonna work? Oh, Ooh, look, yeah, there's marshmallows inside of it. Do you see that? And when it's all flown away, then... Oh, look at that. Oh, my golly. Oh, that's so fun. Hey, Lucy, this one's yours. All right, I've got my rolls down here. I am hoping they rise on the way. I've got my Christmas music. I am headed up to the train station to pick Landon and all of the kids up. He literally took all nine kids by himself back up to Bonnie's. And then we are changing directions here. We are going to go to Landon's family Christmas party and his mom is the cutest and is doing a Bethlehem themed party. So we've got to go put on our Bethlehem attire. Seriously, who is good with timing? Oh my heavens. Okay, we're starting with some musical performances at the party. Good job, Julie. He's popping my toes. Does your husband do that? He'll come up to me and he'll pop my knuckles, he'll pop my toes, I think it's weird. I like doing it. Because he likes it to be done to him and I never do it. That's <laughs> weird. Anyway, we just wanted to end the vlog and say thank you so much for watching our videos. Two thoughts. I loved watching Bonnie's kids. I loved ha having them here. They are such well-behaved kids. kids. 
and I loved spending time with Madden's family this evening. I know we didn't show you guys a whole lot, but his mom had the cutest little thing. She wrote the cutest, it wasn't a poem, but it was like 12 blessings of our family for the year. And she just started back at the beginning of the year and talked about me having surgery, my carpal tunnel surgery, so I could take care of my kids without hand pain. And she was just really thoughtful and went into detail about all the different blessings that our family has had over the past year, even just going camping and listening to all the beautiful like sounds of nature. And I thought it was the sweetest thing. I'm gonna have her email it to me. It was beautiful. It really <laughs> yeah. was. And it's fun that our families are getting a little bit older and mature to be able to like have those experiences together and it's just really fun. Yeah, so I guess if I have a takeaway from today's vlog is to sit down and think about the past year and think of the blessings that you have been given and things that you are grateful for. Like, yeah, truly think about them. Yeah, a lot of the things your mom said, I was like, I would have never have thought about that. Yeah. She talked about just like, being able to be educated and having so many people in our family not necessarily go to school and get education but we're we're trying we're good at what we do in our professions yeah his I mean, siblings. I've got a brother that's a welder and I've got a brother who's a firefighter and we're just we take time to be good at our professions and it's that's a blessing to be yeah. have, to have that drive so. it was really sweet yeah it was but, okay well we will talk to you guys later you guys Christmas is around the corner don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time